Uh, it's great to be here today. It's also great to hear all the other founders speaking about their challenging business models and also sharing their view about what they see going on in the industry. And we certainly uh, couldn't agree more to everything we heard today. My name is Joachim uh, from Simple Assurance, and uh, we develop software solutions to enable any kind of e-commerce shop to do cross-selling with insurance products. Our business model is built around one single, but for us, very, very essential question, which is how can an insurance company in the future, let's say in three to five years from now, it doesn't matter, acquire and get in touch with new customers? We all know that the way insurance products are sold today didn't really change during the last 40, 50, 60 years, in essence, to be honest. Yes, there are price comparison portals, there's Google AdWords, but those are very, very expensive and competitive channels and can't be the only channel to really acquire new customers. So we need an answer to that. And we like to compare that also to what we see happening in the banking sector. The banks told us about 10 years how to use an ATM. Then the banks told us for another 10 years how to use online banking. And now they shut down one third of their branches, basically. I'm exaggerating a little bit. But they have the problem that no one is walking anymore into, into a bank. I personally can't even remember when I physically have been to a bank. And we see something similar happening in the insurance industry, especially happening to the well-established broker and agent networks. So they all face the questions, and we've got Knip here. Basically, they face the questions, tomorrow, how do we get in touch with new customers? And as of today, most of them rely heavily on their existing customer base. But that's not really sustainable in the future, because this is all about new customers. Second part of the problem, uh, our view, the car insurance used to be a classic or one of the classic entry models for an insurance company to get in touch with new customers, to acquire new customers, and then go ahead and cross-sell into other verticals. Uh, with a growing share economy and players like Uber and car sharing becoming more and more popular, the generation behind me doesn't necessarily buy or own a car anymore. Maybe later, but not if they turn 18. So, but for sure, they all will have smartphones. And what we want to do is we want to catch them in the moment they buy a new smartphone and then convert them into a valid insurance customer at, at the point of sale. The way we do that, and this is our technical solution, it's pretty self-explaining. We develop software solutions which are plug and play and integrate into the purchasing process, into the buying process of any kind of e-commerce shop. So we are right there at the point of sale when the consumer is about to buy a brand new product, in that example, a bike. It can be a smartphone, it can be a dishwasher. And we would be there to offer a corresponding insurance product, which makes sense to the consumer in that moment, and trigger an intuitive buy. We are compatible with any kind of technology platform out there, so we can talk and integrate with any kind of player in the e-commerce space. This is just a few examples of popular platforms like the Magentos out there. And our USP is that this is literally plug and play. It doesn't require any kind of programming or customization effort. The, the online shop itself doesn't have to do a lot about it. It's just uploading the file, installing, and it's up and running and can start cross-selling. The benefit for the online shop is he's earning a commission on every policy sold, which in verticals, which are very competitive like electronics, is a really relevant upsell and goes straight to the bottom line, up to 1% of margin. We do this predominantly in the area of electronics. That's how we started. So we started selling smartphone protection plans, which is our biggest segment. Uh, warranty extensions, for example, for dishwashers, fridges, and so on. And then we realized in the second year, it's not so much about the insurance product. This is a technology product. We are a tech company. So we keep on adding different verticals, and we test a lot. So right now, we sell more than 30 different uh, uh, verticals, including bike theft insurance, car tire insurance, including eyewear, and, and, and. And we keep on adding and testing, and not all of them work, but some of them surprisingly work very, very well. For us, very important is that we don't re-engineer our platform to fit a new insurance product. We do it the other way around. We structure the insurance products together with our partners, the primary insurers, in a way that they follow the same process principles and per perfectly fit our platform, meaning that we have the same technology approach, the same sales approach. It doesn't really matter whether we talk an online shop, uh, to an online shop for bikes 
or for an online shop selling music instruments. It makes no difference. Um, just giving you two examples uh, of two of our live clients, how the solution looks like live. This is one, uh, Red Coon is one of the major electronic uh, e-tailers in Germany. The solution is also fully mobile enabled. And the other one is a smartphone manufacturer. This is a very interesting case for us. It's a smartphone manufacturer from China called OnePlus. And uh, we also partner up directly with hardware manufacturers, with OEMs. In that case, we see a trend that especially Asian producers of hardware tend to distribute exclusively through their own online shop, through their own online shop uh, channel, basically, cutting out all the traditional retail like Amazon, eBay, Best Buy. They just sell with a lot of social media accompanied through their own online shop. And we are a very good partner for them to do this kind of business across the whole European Union as a one-stop shop. Uh, they don't want to talk in every single country to another insurance company. They don't want to talk for, to, to another technology provider. And there are more out there like Huawei and so on, much bigger ones. And all of them are obviously on our roadmap. Uh, we have uh, across basically many countries in Europe, meanwhile, more than 5,000 distribution partners, which are the online shops. And uh, we keep on adding every month that our run rate more or less between 60 and 80 new, sh new online shops. Um, for us, this is obviously access to an incredibly high amount of new customers through all this distribution every day. Right now, we generate more than 20,000 new customers per month selling a, a policy for one of these verticals. The value behind that is obviously for three reasons. One, we earn money with every policy we sell. We get a cut a margin on our side. The far bigger value is we have uh, a customer lifetime value, which typically is very high in the insurance space. It can count, if you sell the right products in a second and third step, it can count a couple of thousand euros. And the third reason is data. We manage all the process, all the customer relationship end-to-end, -end, including the claim. So we collect a lot of data about customer behavior, consumer behavior, and claim behavior. And so we can generate a lot of insights about loss ratios, about claim ratios into the verticals, the countries, no matter how, distribution partners. And that puts us in a position to really come up now with our own products and own pricings for insurance products uh, out of one stack with uh, an appropriate BI around that. And uh, where that will be leading is not a topic for today. Hopefully, I can talk about it next year on this conference. But obviously, there's a lot of potential in there. Just closing that off with uh, uh, some facts about the company. Uh, we are four years now in business, almost. We have a team of about 100 people. All of them are located in Berlin. So we do this business across the whole European Union with one team sitting in Berlin. And we have raised so far capital of 20 million. And to further support our growth and also go doing this business outside Europe, we were going to be raise more money this year. Uh, so we're looking to raise another 20 million during the course of the next couple of months. Thank you. Thank you, Joachim. Um, just one quick question from my side. You showed us a few product categories that you, that you, that you focus on or that you look at. Is there any sub-segment, any product segment where you say it's the best fit for you or where you even have the biggest margins for you? Margin-wise, no. Um, the dominant segment is electronics. It's just the biggest e-commerce segment which we are working in. Um, and it will be always the dominant one. But there is a difference in terms of performance, how many people actually click and buy these kind of products. Obviously, a smartphone protection plan or warranty extension is far more popular. People know this product. They will click and buy it. An insurance product for furniture might not convert that well. Sure. Thank you. Any questions from the judges? Um, what are the key challenges in your business model? Time. It's no problem to fund money. It's always a challenge to find good people. Losing time, you never will make up for. So our challenge now is to be quick in going into new markets, new countries, including outside Europe, to be basically the first one to create a category, category leader for that kind of business.